Hi friends, welcome to Interactive Medicine. In this section, we are going to talk about the new section in the pediatrics that is the hemorrhagic disease of newborn. Okay, so introduction and hemorrhagic manifestation due to deficiency of vitamin K depend uh, clotting factors is known as uh, hemorrhagic diseases of the newborn and coagulation factors 2, 7, 9, 10 and other GLA proteins that is protein C, protein S and the protein Z also depend on the presence of vitamin K for their activity. Vitamin K. The following forms of vitamin K are known. K1, phylloquinone is predominantly found in green leafy vegetables, vegetable oils and dairy products. Vitamin K given to neonates as prophylactic agent is an aqueous colloidal solution of vitamin K1. Vitamin K2. It is known as menaquinone. It is synthesized by gut flora. Vitamin K3. Menadione is a synthetic water soluble form. Vitamin K is an essential cofactor for gamma glutamate carboxylase enzyme activity that catalyzes the gamma carboxylation of specific glutamic acid residues in a subclass of proteins. So this is the reaction. The oxidized vitamin vitamin K is converted to reduced vitamin K by the enzyme that is epoxide reductase and the redu reduced vitamin K reduced vitamin K converted again to oxidized vitamin K in the presence of an enzyme gamma carboxylase. So during this reaction the inactivated factors 2, 7, 9, 10 along with the proteins C, S, Z is going to be activated that is its activated forms of factors and proteins so we can see the warfarin here warfarin inhibit the enzyme epoxide reductase so the oxidized vitamin k is does not convert to reduced vitamin k so thus by we can prevent the coagulation or the clotting so in this for the condition that uh, increased the clotting in the body so we can prescribe this warfarin so we can allow uh, we can inhibit the clotting process in the body. Vitamin K in newborn. Newborn babies are predisposed to develop vitamin K deficiency uh, which means that it may be due to the passaging of the vitamin K through the placenta is minimum and there is a less storage of vitamin K in the newborn and low concentration of vitamin k in the breast milk and in newborns the gut flora in the gut flora include the bacteria these are absent or um, much less than the normal so the absence of bacterial intestinal flora normally responsible for the synthesis of vitamin k so it can also decrease the vitamin k in the body of a newborn hemorrhagic disease of newborn Hemorrhagic disease of the newborn resulting from severe transient deficiencies in vitamin K vitamin K dependent factors is characterized by bleeding that tends to tends to be gastrointestinal nasal subgarial. Subgarial means the space between the periosteum and the garia ponorotica, then intracranial or post circumcision. So classification which include the early HDN, classical HDN and late HDN. Early HDN, the onset it is 0 to 24 hours, incidence is rare, anxiety is cephalohematoma, subgarial, intracranial, gastrointestinal, umbilicus, intraabdominal. Etiology, maternal drugs which include phenobarbital, phenytoin, warfarin, rifampin, isoniazid that these drugs are interfere with vitamin K. So the risk factor which include the inherited coagulopathy. Classical HDN the onset is 2 to 7 days. Incidence approximately 2 percentage if infant not given vitamin K. The site of hemorrhage it is come from gastrointestinal 
ear, nose, throat mucosal, intracranial, circumcision, cutaneous, injection sites. The reason is vitamin K deficiency, breastfeeding. Late HDN. Onset is 1 to 6 month. Incidence depend on primary disease. The site of hemorrhage, intracranial, gastrointestinal, cutaneous, ear, nose, throat, mucosal, injection sites, thoracic. Etiology include colstasis, malabsorption of vitamin K, which include the biliary atresia, cystic fibrosis, hepatitis. Risk factor include A beta lipoprotein deficiency, idiopathic in Asian breastfed infants, warfarin ingestion. The presentation gastrointestinal hemorrhage, prolonged bleeding after circumcision, epistasis that is the blood come from the nose, ecchymosis or bruising, intracranial hemorrhage, bleeding from umbilicus. Cephalohematoma. So you can see the cephalohematoma here. Investigation. Coagulation profile. Prothrombin time PT. Activated partial thromboplastin time APTT. Fibrinogen levels and a platelet count should be included in the initial workup for vitamin K deficiency bleeding in a newborn. A prolonged PT is usually first laboratory test results to be abnormal in vitamin K deficiency bleeding. Normal APTT, fibrinogen levels and platelet count, factor assay. Imagine study which include CT scan, MRI, ultrasound, CBC, complete blood count, then liver function test, stool for occult blood, ERCP, liver biopsy. Differential diagnosis, which include alloimmune thrombocytopenia, conception coagulopathy, hepatobiliary disease, maternal isoimmune thrombocytopenia, pediatric von Willebrand disease, uncommon coagulopathies, swallowed blood syndrome. Management, which include intramuscular administration of 1 mg of vitamin K at the time of birth, at the time of birth prevents the decrease in vitamin K dependent factors in full term infants. But it is not uniformly effective in the prophylaxis of hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, particularly in breastfed and in premature infants. The disease may be effectively treated with a low intravenous infusion of 1 to 5 mg of vitamin K1. Serious bleeding particularly in premature infants or those with liver disease may require a transfusion of fresh frozen plasma or whole blood. Hematomas, melina and post circumcision and umbilical cord bleeding may be present. Only 5 to 35 percentage of cases of factor 8 and 9, def 9 deficiency become clinically apparent in the newborn period. Treatment of the rare congenital deficiencies of coagulation factors requires fresh frozen plasma or specific factor replacement. Surgical care include normally vitamin K deficiency bleeding infants do not require surgical care but in rare cases an infant may need neurosurgical evaluation and treatment. Other conditions such as those associated with the short bowel syndrome and hepatobiliary disease may require surgical evaluation. So the complications include intracranial hemorrhage is the primary serious complication of vitamin K deficiency bleeding. Complication of treatment include anaphylactoid like reactions during intravenous vitamin K administration, hyperbilirubinemia or hemolytic anemia after high dose of vitamin K and hematoma and hematomas at the site of injection if administered intramuscular. Prevention Early HDN administrations of vitamin K to infant at birth or to mother 20 mg before birth, classical HDN, parental vitamin K at birth, 
ലേറ്റ് എച്ച് ഡി എൻ പാരൻ്റൽ ആൻഡ് ഹൈ ഡോസ് ഓറൽ വിറ്റാമിൻ കെ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് പീരീഡ്സ് ഓഫ് മാൽ അബ്സോർഷൻ ഓർ കോൾസ്റ്റാസിസ് സോ ദ പ്രോഗ്നോസിസ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ദി ആബ്സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രോക്രീനിയൽ ഹെമറേജ് ദ പ്രോഗ്നോസിസ് ഫോർ വിറ്റാമിൻ കെ ഡെഫിഷ്യൻസി ബ്ലീഡിംഗ് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് അതർവൈസ് ഹെൽത്തി ഇൻഫെൻറ് ഈസ് എക്സലൻറ്റ് പ്രോഗ്നോസിസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഇൻട്രാക്രീനിയൽ ഹെമറേജ് ഡിപ്പെൻസ് ഓൺ ദ എക്സ്റ്റൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ലൊക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഹെമറേജ് ലോങ് ടേം സീക്കലെ ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രാക്രീനിയൽ ഹെമറേജ് മേ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് മോട്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ്റലക്ച്വൽ ഡെഫിസിറ്റ്സ് സോ ദ റഫറൻസ് ഓൺ നെൽസൺ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ഓഫ് പീഡിയാട്രിക്സ് മാനുവൽ ഓഫ് ന്യൂനേറ്റൽ കെയർ ഡോട്ടറി ന്യൂ ബോൺ കെയർ മെഹാർ ബൻ സിങ് മെഡ്സ്കേപ്സ് സോ if you like this video please make a thumbs up and share to your friends and if you if you didn't even subscribe the channel please subscribe for more videos and click on the like button for the notifications thank you friends have a nice day bye